In today's video, we're going to tell you about Magnolia Beach, located in Port Lavaca, Texas. Fifth wheel back there, and then there's a tra travel trailer down there, and we got all this to ourselves. All right, so headed back from Arizona, we knew that we were gonna come back to Waco, Texas. But on our way out to Arizona, Randy wanted to hit Magnolia Beach. We've always wanted to do beach camping. Beach boondocking. Beach boondocking, correct. Yep. Um, but we just didn't have time to fit it in before we went out to my sister's in Arizona for Christmas. We were running out of time. We were, yeah, we were dragging our feet. We're you know? slow. We, we, were... we only travel three hours a day, so three to four hours. I don't like to just pull in and then leave the next day. A lot of times we'll stay two nights where we are, mm -hmm. um, unless Randy really gets the bug up his behind and he wants to go, go, go. So the whole point of this story is, we were gonna do Mag Magnolia Beach on the way out and didn't have time, so we hit it coming back. It's located, just so you know, It's if you're gonna go, use the um, address 800 North Ocean Drive, Port Lavaca. Yeah, Google wants to take you in across the light bridge, which is, it's 10,000 pounds per axle for a tandem. So that's telling you 20,000 pounds. Anything over that, you're violating the bridge weight. When you, when you actually Google it, yeah. you want to make sure you take Henry Barber Drive or something along that way. There's a Margie we'll put a map Worthy in. Way or something. Don't go that Margie it you way. Around. It's and, about five miles to get you around the wet right way. People have crossed it with their motorhomes, but they they're say taking a change. They say do it all the time, I mean, but Randy and I will. If you know. get caught doing that to a bridge, they're going to they're gonna ticket you, fine you. They're going to hire engineers to do bridge inspections and your insurance company isn't going to cover it because you violated the law basically well the way i look at it it's Not an extra 10 chance. 15 minutes yeah. to go around and that could tie you around the right hours. way there's a lot of confusion but uh uh texas department of Transport transportation actually confirmed this that it's ten thousand per axle for a tandem 
and we're and we're definitely yeah, we're heavier actual, than that. but you know even at that i mean we're about 34,000 33,000 pounds so we're well over it and bigger motor coaches with the you know the the other ones are in the 50 60 range so you're definitely violating the uh the weight limit I so, want to say it's the route was 316. 316, but it and you can stick take to that, and it's going to bring you into the what is that called? Indian Indianola it, Beach, Indianola which Beach. brings us to the next right. stop. We went to Magnolia Beach because I had seen a video on it a few years ago, and uh, when we drove in, it was it was crowded. It was mm -hmm. they're pretty much they want you to, to line up on an on an angle perpendicular to the perpendicular, ocean. Perpendicular, you know, but. Most people were straight in, and they were pretty much right on top of each other. I think it's more of the, what do you call it, the tribe mentality or something? Possibly. I'm not real sure. Um, uh, they're, they're, you know, there's areas of beach that are somewhat open, but everybody's got to park on top of each other. So. And Randy and I are, you know, not not the of the tribe mentality. Yeah, I, I mean, we don't mind being with people. We just like to have our space, you know, just room. to... If I want to holler at him, I don't want the neighbors next door hearing me oh, holler wow. at him. <laughs> so, you know, that if kind you of go, uh, <laughs> you go a mile and a half south, you'll come down to what's called Indianola Beach. Well, it's just, it says Magnolia Beach slash. Slash, but Indianola. I was in between, but further down is Indianola. Yeah. Oh. Yes. So we, we found an area that was in between the two, in between right? The two, and uh, it was like in the middle of them. And, it's it's beach camping's allowed. Same rules. Uh, third, what is it? Fourteen days. Fourteen with a 30 days. Day break. A Thirty day gap. Um, no dumping. No dumping. No dumping tanks. Anything like that. Fully totally contained. Yeah. And uh, no what fires is it? on pack the Pack in, pack out. Yeah. That so, type of thing. And it was it was a phenomenal spot. We'll show you in the video. We parked on an angle. We had the entire. They're kind of like these jetties. Cove. Like, I would say it's a little like a cove. cove that's kind of washes out from the wave action. And we had that pretty much that whole section to ourselves the whole time we were there. So, yeah, it's uh, it was nice. It was I mean, beautiful. when when you look at the footage here, you'll see, you know, depending on what it is that you're looking to accomplish, you have a, a choices. You could, you know, park down at the, the far end at Magnolia Beach and have people there or you can do this beach in between and be- Have your privacy. Right, have right. your privacy. And then Indianola, they offer like those concrete pads, like picnic areas yeah, with the, it. That's sort of um, Magnolia, they had them too, where you can park right next to them. Yeah. Put pictures in them, but- that, To me, that didn't have much appeal either or. The thing in the, the spot we picked in the middle was perfect was for perfect. what I was looking was. to do. Um, yeah. And it was great for, let me put it this way. If you need a place to just go for some quiet, mm -hmm. that's where you want to go. There's no restaurants close by. I mean, you literally there's would no. have to go well, that's 20, 25 minutes to the Bucky's. Yeah, the pros are, you know, you're on the beach, you're looking at the water. You don't have to worry about the tide coming in. There, it is tide of water, but it only goes up a couple feet. So as long as you're back from the... High tide mark, you're good. Yeah. Right, and what and they say, it's an oyster shell sand bed, that so it's firm yep. for parking. The cons are, what are the cons? I mean, this the wind. The wind. The wind is, like today, it's just constantly blowing. Yeah. Um, and we had one con. Lately, the, it, it was, but what, the day we played cornhole? We played cornhole. The wind was still catching the bag. It was. It was still a little windy. It wasn't bad. It was doable. But after like three days of constant wind. Three, four, four days, days of blowing, we we're, were like, like we're okay. <laughs> we were going to stay a little bit. We were going to stay another one more day, I think it was. We were yeah. going to stay, but I was ready. Oh. Randy was ready. Was we were going to stay up. Overcast and in the 60s. Another two days, and yeah. weather was supposed it to be sunny and 75. And it turned out to be cloudy and, and oh, it was in the mid sixties actually. Intermittent rain. Yeah. So we're so like, let's there go. There was no sit, really sitting on that's, the beach and soaking up the that's sun. That's the beauty of uh, full time traveling. If you just want to, you don't like it, pick up and leave. Pro tip: be flexible. Yeah. Um, we didn't pay for the spot, so it didn't cost well, us. Well, even if it, we did, we probably still would have left early. I mean, it wouldn't yeah. have been that expensive. Like. Um, 
the Corps of Engineer Parks. What we, I mean, we've really done great traveling out west this time. $19 a I think night. We learned a little bit. Yeah, $28 a night, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so if we're not happy, Randy and I are not going to stay. That's just us. If they're, we were fortunate on a couple occasions traveling this time. They gave us back when we canceled yeah. the night here and there. Yeah, they're a little more flexible they now that the uh, COVID rush mm -hmm. is I, going I, away. I think definitely. they realize that uh, they need uh, they need their RV people. So, but getting back to the thing, and this this is more of, uh, of my thing. Be vigilant when you're there. I and that could be my years in law enforcement. I was catching a bad vibe from the locals that were in the area. There seemed to be a lot of well, people driving around. We didn't have any problems. We had none. I, just, uh, I felt a little uneasy there, just from what I was seeing. I didn't see anything particularly bad. It just... Well, I there did, were no patrols, right? Did I we didn't not see, see any patrols. Yet? I mean, you're out there kind of on your, you know, out in the middle of nowhere on the island. And uh, I saw, uh, I just didn't feel like here, I leave my compartments unlocked. I'll go away for... <laughs> hours and come back i don't worry about it but out there i got a i just was catching a weird uneasy spidey feeling. sense uh, yeah. that you know things could could happen keep in mind your safety yeah when you're, you gotta when be you're, and it's just like and, anything any campground really you gotta be vigilant and aware yes. of your surroundings it's the number one rule and, so plan on doing a lot of your own cooking is nope. my... Um, There's no rest. There is a marina down the street. We didn't venture down there. I, it's still like 20 minutes away or better. That's pretty good. No, Half right an down. hour, I thought. Yeah. And there's a Bucky's about 25, 30 minutes away. But I don't know. I, no, I, we, I put it this way. I wouldn't have the... left my dogs alone on the beach. <laughs> on the, At that beach. And, or the coach. I don't or the coach and felt comfortable no. leaving it. For I a just, meal. Randy? Maybe um, it's just Randy. It could be just me, but I don't think it is. Yeah. So, um, bike ride wise, I didn't. You know, they. It looked like there's a trail on the backside. We didn't get around there across the way, um, across the street. You know where I'm talking about. Um, it would just be street riding, right, yeah, on the bike. Pretty much. Um, I wouldn't say it's heavy traffic, so you would be safe, I would think. Um, but otherwise, fishing. And book reading and soaking up the sun. That's it. Uh, it's now, just a, a real good downtime. Yeah, I don't want it to be a negative review because we loved no. our time there, but I, I wouldn't go back. I don't think I'd go back to that beach. I no, we tell you the good, bad, and the ugly, and yeah. I honestly, I don't have a desire to go back to that beach either. I'm glad we it did was it. Nice. Yes, it was something. It was one I'm of them things that if you never do it, you won't. And we stayed what know. three or four days. We did. We um, had so fun. Was Nobody it, bothered us, like uh, I said. We, no. When we, we played good, but and I read a book, and I just, we played games, no. card games, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Gracie, as I started to say earlier, she was the difficult one. Well, that could be some of my issue, too. Like, there's a lot of, if you got pups, there's a lot of them sticker burrs the around. Sand burrs. Sand yeah. burrs, and Woody got one in his paw. It was pretty deep. It was, it was like, hardcore. Oh. Yeah. It took a bit for me to get that one It was one like out. the elephant, you know, mm. Terry was pulling the thorn out of the elephant's foot. He was not happy. But, uh... But Gracie is very particular about scents. She yeah. has to have scents. And I don't know if it, the wind was what was doing scent, it. Maybe, but yeah. she was not comfortable in the one area we walked her. Even on the beach, I mean, it's... I found a spot later. Four days, it was a headache. Even, even though that spot you found, she still yeah. was a headache. Still difficult. So... With that being said, our dogs do control our lives a little bit. We they like do. to make them but happy. But you know what? Dogs know things that we don't sometimes, and maybe yeah. they were picking up something. Who knows what they it was? They could have been picking up what I was putting but down. They were picking up what yeah. you were putting down, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you if I was working in that area, I would have no problem finding people to All right. <laughs> take the secure housing. Deputy Tucker. That's right. There would Retired be not a problem. Tucker. I saw uh, quite a few folks that were uh, could have been at the Gray Bar Hotel. Okay, what was the name of that other beach? Port Aransas? Port, Port Aransas. That probably will be the next boondocking next experience. Next time we come out, we'll try we that try, one. Yeah. That one you have to buy a three-day permit. I think it's 12 bucks for the year. So. And uh, that looks a little more... 
Well, from what I gather, there's more things to do. Um, I like to go out every now and then for dinner. It doesn't have yes. to be every night, but maybe one night we'd like to venture out. To the, to, yeah, check now, out the local Keep in area. mind, this beach is uh, pretty much all hard shell, so you don't have to worry about getting stuck, so to speak. Now, where we parked, the coach was no problem, but a couple times the Jeep got into a little softer coach. stuff and tried to dig a hole. So I would definitely... Yeah go out on foot and walk it before you go whipping in there with your big rig. Yeah, but we did all right. Though. The roadway and all in front of it is all hard pack. Back. It's like concrete. Mm. Yeah. So there's no issue there. Yeah. And you'll see where we're parked, what I'm talking about in the video. But if, you, if you're looking to experience beach boondocking, we do recommend it for a couple days. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. Um, it was a, a nice experience for us even though we won't be going back. So, it's very porty. Very what? <laughs> I mean, it's porty, P-O-R-T. Porty, yeah. It's kind of industrial. It's industrial, down the road. I guess. Especially down at Magnolia say. Beach area. That was a lot of refinery stuff. And yeah, you down see where a lot we of were, it. We had nothing but marshland behind us. and. Uh, what know. are they, like the tanker ships coming in? Yeah, you see the tankers yeah, coming in. and uh, it, That's cool to watch. And, yeah, but and down, we saw a couple sailboats. Saw some sailboats, and you know, it was good. It's a good time, but I, I think there's we're from Florida. We've seen nicer beaches. I well, guess. and I was Jer Jersey born, so, so I love my LBI. No, um, no, no knocks against Texas Beach, but this was uh, it was just a, it was a combination of things. It was just that location. I'm yeah. sure they've got beautiful beaches Probably. on the coast or on the Gulf Coast. We just need to find them. So yeah, if you have any recommendations, drop them down in the comments below. Um, like I said, the Port Ar Aransas, Aransas yeah. would be the other spot we're looking to um, check out. But if you guys know of another beach boondocking area that we should experience um, that's beautiful and quiet and all that good stuff with a little bit of fun, maybe mini golf. Yeah. <laughs> And Something if you've been like to Magnolia that. Beach, uh, give us your thoughts on it. If you, if you had any problems uh, or anything like that or uh, what you think. Or of maybe, it. you know, suggesting something that we didn't. Maybe we overlooked something maybe. while we were there. Maybe we missed the boat. Yeah. The, uh, the water was looked okay. It looked kind of clean. I've, I've read in, in around March and April, it can be kind of muddy looking. So. We were there, what, in January? So I don't know about it swimming nice. due to all the refineries in the area, though. It was too cold. I put yeah, my piggies in, but, we got it, there. but it warmed up. It was too cold to be swimming. So, so. Right. so that's that. All like right. I said, sum it up. We had a great time. Uh, I wouldn't go back, though. I wouldn't go out. It's You're out there. It's You got to go through some roads to get to it. It's not, a, it's not interstate driving by no means. You know, the roads were good, but we had a lot of turns, like... Yeah. It was a, you know, it's a task to get there. It's not something... Yeah. It's not like most beaches where you drive over a causeway and you're there. You had to do some turning and go through some little towns and stuff like that. So, not undoable, but... No, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't so turn. bad. Randy was... The two of us being, you know, that's the hard part about RVing is just trusting the GPS and where you're going. And when you haven't actually been where you're going <laughs> before, yeah. oh, coming you know, out wasn't you're any like, easier. oh my word, are we going to end up in the ditch? Or coming what? out of there wasn't any easier than going in. Oh, oh no, no. It was a long drive back it to was. Waco. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was a six hour day. We broke that rule too, but yeah. whatever. We're still having fun out here. All right, well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, check out the super thanks below, and we'll see you in our next video.